Hello everyone, I am Pankaj Chaudhary and in this video series we are going to learn how to create a simple menu driven program in Python. Let's take an example of an employee. Consider an employee having following attributes like employee ID, name, department and salary. Here we are considering employee ID as a private attribute and salary as a private attribute so that we can secure these two values. No one can modify it except through the valid medium or a getter setter methods. Now the basic structure of the class is like this employee which is generating an object class and the number of employee as a static or a class variable which is initialized with zero and the init method is taking four attributes eid name department and salary so methods that we are going to declare inside the employee class is the init method which is used to initialize the attribute of an instance getter setter method just for a salary attribute so that we can secure it or access it through that getter and setter methods raise salary method for raising the salary of the selected employee annual salary of an employee so that we can cut the annual salary and the number of employee has been created in that particular class. So we need an, another class so that we can opt for the basic functionality of the employee management like adding a new employee. In that particular class we are having method adding new employee update methods. So we have a variety we have a variety for updating the employee like searching the employee by ID and then updating a specific field or searching the name of the employee, searching the employee by name and then updating that specific employee by using the ID of that employee. Delete methods, either we can delete a particular employee by its ID or we can search it through its name and then delete. Search method so that we can search a particular employee either by ID, either by name or by the department. So, so uh, in the display method, we can display the employee by ID. If you are using ID as a display of an employee, then it will display the whole detail of that particular employee in a specific format. We will discuss later on what in what, in what format we have to display that employee. And uh, we either we can display or we can display that in display method we can display a list of all the employee from each and every department and uh, we can use to display the employee of particular department in the same method or in the same in the search method also we can search the employee of that particular department so this some methods are used in that class that and uh, same methods uh, the operations that we are going to apply on the employee class or the management of the employee adding a new employee and in this method when we are adding a new employee we need to check whether that employee id exists already exists in our database or not the display employee method which is used to display the employee as we have discussed. Search by name, search by ID, search by department, update employee by ID or by name, delete employee by ID or some other methods or delete all employee. So these are the basic operations that we are going to cover in this tutorial. The data structure that we are using in this is the dictionary which is used to store the record of the employee. That's the basic syntax of the dictionary is the key value pair, where key we are going to use employee ID and the value is an object that we are going to create from the employee class. So in the same method, we are going to add those keys and values in this dictionary. A key is the immutable object so that there is no duplicate key and it cannot be modified which means you cannot uh, change the value of a key but you can change the value associated with that key means we cannot change the we cannot uh, uh, change the value of that key but we can change the value associated with that key 
So in the next video, we will create a simple class of the employee object.